hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew this simple off shoulder wrap top it's also a crop top so i achieved this style using about two yards of ankara fabric so it's a very detailed tutorial and very beginners friendly so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so this is the fabric we'll be working with i have about two yards of ankara fabric here but i don't know if i'm going to finish it and i have my markers my rulers my scissors and then my pattern paper because we'll be drafting out first on the pattern paper for more clarity and precision of measurements before we transfer to the fabric so, so we'll be using just one pattern to cut out the front and the back so i have my pattern paper here and it's in a fold of two so the first thing we are going to do is to draw out a starting line at the top of the pattern paper so i'll just draw out a starting line so this line is going to be the shoulder line and this is where we'll be taking all the vertical measurements from so for this tutorial i'll need my shoulder to my bust point shoulder to my waist and shoulder to the full length of the top so my shoulder to bust is 10 inches my shoulder to waistline is 16 inches and the full length of this top is 19 inches so i'll be adding the seam allowance the folding allowance when i'm cutting the fabric so i'll just use my rulers now to extend the lines this way so let's go ahead and label the lines together the first line is the shoulder line this is the bust line the under busts and sorry the waistline and the full length of the top so on this shoulder line i'll place my shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by two which is eight inches so go ahead to place yours and then from this line i'll come down by my round armhole measurements divided by two which is nine inches so go ahead to place yours as well and then i'll connect the two points together and then i'll further extend this line so this line is going to be my chest line so on this armhole line i'm going to come down by one inch this is going to be for the shoulder slope but although we won't be needing it for this tutorial and then i'll take the midpoint of the remaining part of the line which is four inches for me then on this chest line i'm going to place my round bust measurements divided by four which is 10.5 inches go ahead to place yours as well and then i'll take my ruler and just connect the two points together forming my armhole curve So this is what we have after doing that so the next thing to do is to place the round body measurements so on the bust line so this um top is not going to be having any that since it's a wrap top there, there won't be any that on it so from the closed angle of the paper i'll place my round bust measurements divided by four on the bust line and then on the waist line i'll place my round waist measurements divided by four which is 9.5 inches so go ahead to place yours and then on the full length of my top i'm going to place my round hip measurements divided by four which is 11 inches so i'll go ahead to add one inch to all the measurements for my seam allowance so right now i'll just take my ruler and connect all the points together so i'll go ahead to connect the three points together so after connecting i'll just blend in the waist points this way so this is what we have so the next thing to do is to determine where you want your off shoulder to start from so from the shoulder line i'm going to come down by four inches so i want my um, um off shoulder to start on the four inches mark from my shoulder line so depending on what you want you can decide to make yours five inches depending on how low you want your off shoulder to be so i'll just go ahead and connect this line to meet the armhole line this way so this is what we have so the upper part which i'm going to just shade out is going to be the part we'll be cutting out we don't need it so this lower part is what we need so remember that this particular pattern is what we'll be using to cut out both the back panels and the front panels so i'll be cutting out the back panel first before i cut out the front so i'm going to go ahead now to cut this out 
so after cutting out this is what we have so i'm going to use this now to cut out the back panel then when i'm done cutting out the back panel i'll modify this pattern so we can cut out the front panels so i've gone ahead to use the pattern to cut on my fabric so as you can see i added one inch to the upper part for folding at the top because i won't be using a lining and then for the lower part i added half an inch to the half an inch i already have on the pattern making one inch for folding at the base so i'll just go ahead to remove the pattern from the fabric now so this is what the back panel looks like so I'll so I'll set the fabric aside while I modify this pattern to cut out the front panels. So to cut out the front panels, which is going to be the parts that will form the wrap top, I'll go ahead to open my pattern this way. So let's work on the part that is plain. So the first thing to do is to just come up on one side of your pattern paper by 3 inches. I'm working with 3 inches here. So mark the 3 inches on that point and then i'll come over to the upper edge of the other side and then i'll just form a curve down to meet that three inches just like an s shape i'll just do this with free hand so this is what we have so this is basically all so i'll cut out this part now and then i'll show you guys the next thing to do so i'll just go ahead now to cut it out so notice that when cutting on my fabric i'm going to be cutting out two pieces of this so the fabrics are going to overlap on each other forming the wrap effect in front so i'll go ahead now and place this on my fabric i'll cut out two pieces and then when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys what it looks like so i've gone ahead to use my pattern paper to cut on my fabric and i added one inch to the neckline for folding remember i won't be using the lining and i added it at the base also for folding so i'll go ahead to just remove the pattern so you guys can see so i have two pieces of it so by the time i join it together i'm going to have the front piece overlapping on each other this way giving the wrap effect so this is the back panel that i also cut out so it's going to sit on the sit on it that way so the next thing to do now before we join them together is to finish up the neckline so remember i added one inch while cutting on my fabric so i'll go ahead to fold it in twice and stitch it all the way down i'll do the same thing for the lower part of the fabric i'll finish it up by folding in twice so you can start to use a lining to turn over the necklines but for the purpose of this tutorial i won't be making use of lining i'll just go ahead to fold it in twice and stitch it all the way down so i'll repeat the same thing for the necklines of the front panel i'll carefully fold in the curved edges this way I'll fold it in twice and stitch it all the way down. I'll do the same thing for the base. I'll stitch it all the way down. Then I'll put the same thing for the other side of the um, front panel. So when I'm done doing all that, I'll show you guys the next thing to do. So after folding in the necklines of both the front panels and the back panel, this is what it looks like. This is what we have. I also went ahead to fold in the base like I said earlier. So the next thing to do now is to join the sides together. So I'm going to place them right sides facing each other. I'm just going to go ahead and arrange the front panels on it this way. Making sure the right sides are facing each other. And then using the one inch seam allowance I took out during um, the pattern. I'm going to just join them together. So while you are joining, make sure you fold in this part so that it won't um, enter into the seam. So whatever allowance you took out for your own, just go ahead to join the sides together. And then I'll move over to the other side and also join the two sides together. So when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys the next thing to do. So after joining both sides together, this is what it looks like. So the next thing to do now is to cut out our sleeve. So I'm going to have to cut out the fabrics I'll be using for the sleeves. So for the length of the sleeve, since it's an off shoulder top, I'm working with um, 19 inches because I don't want my sleeve to be too long. I just want a three quarter sleeve. So I added two extra inches to the top for the elastic casing and one inch to the base for folding. So I have about 22 inches in length there. And then for the wideness, I just used my round ample measurements divided by two, which is nine inches unfold and i added one extra inch for um seam allowance so you can decide to make yours bigger if you want your sleeve to be very free like the picture on my thumbnail 
so i have two pieces of it and they are both in a fold so if you open it up i have about 20 inches for each um sleeve so i'm just going to place my sleeve this way and then i'll take one side of the armhole from the bodies and place on the sleeve this way so remember we have um two inches at the upper part for the elastic casing so i'll go ahead to just mark it out and draw out a straight line so that i won't make any mistake so from that line i'm going to just place my armhole this way on it and then i'm going to make sure i take out the one inch at the sides for the joining of the sleeves so i have one inch on this side for the sleeve um, joining so i'm going to go ahead and trace out the armhole on the bodies on my sleeve so I'll just trace it out this way before i cut so look that this is the open angle of the fabric so i'll go ahead to just trace it out you can cut it directly but for it to be more easier i'm just tracing it out first so after tracing out this is what we have i'll just extend it towards the upper part this way and then cut it out i'll cut out this curve now so after cutting out this is what it looks like so i have two pieces of it so when you open it up it's going to look somewhat like this so before i uh, proceed i'm going to go ahead to notch the point where my elastic casing is, is going to stop so I'll just notch the point where i'll be stopping the casing so i'll notch it out so now when i'm folding i won't get confused so when you open up this is what we have so i'll just go ahead to fold in the upper part in this way i'll fold it in twice using one inch because because i'm working with um, a one inch elastic band so i'll fold it in on that side and when i'm done doing that i'll fold in the other sleeve this way making sure it's stopping at the notched um point and then stitch it all the way down so remember that we'll be having um elastic band on this um, wrist as well so i'll come up now by five inches from the lower part of my sleeve and then i'll just draw the line this way and then i'll show you guys how to attach the elastic band to that point so on this line i have marked out i'll just go ahead and place this fabric strap i cut out on it this way so i'll place it on the center point this way and then stitch it on one side all the way down and stitch it on the other side all the way down so the purpose of doing this is to just form another elastic casing we are be passing the elastic band through so i'll do this for this sleeve i'll put the same thing for the other sleeve i'll fold the upper part and also create the second elastic so after folding in the upper part this is what it looks like so my elastic casing is big because i'm working with a um, one inch of elastic band as you can see so i also went ahead to create the um, new elastic casing like i said the one for the wrist so I'm going to pass my elastic band through this point. So I have cut out the elastic band also for both the upper part and the lower part. So the longer um, band is going to be for the wrist point and the shorter one is going to be for the um, upper part. So to get the length of elastic band, I divided what I have at the upper part by two and cut out that length for the elastic band and then for the wrist point i just placed the elastic band around my wrist this way to get a comfortable point and i cut it out so i'll show you guys now how to pass the elastic band through the casing so i'm making use of the safety pin making use of two i'll just pass it in this way as you can see me doing in the video So I'll go ahead to pass in the elastic band with the pins through the elastic casing. So I'll repeat the same method for the other parts and show you guys what it looks like. I'll also stitch down the elastic band on both sides. So after passing in the elastic band through the casing, this is what it looks like. So this is the upper part and this is the lower part. You can see how it came out. I also went ahead to fold in the base of the sleeve. And then I joined the sleeves together using the one inch allowance that we added to it and flip it to the right side the next thing to do is to attach the sleeve to the bodies so i have the bodies here i'm going to turn it to the right side and then the point where i joined the bodies i'm going to match it up to the point where i joined the sleeve so i'm just going to match those two points together right side facing each other so you can decide to use your pins to secure it first before sewing 
and then i'll take it to my sewing machine i'll stitch it all the way down to the upper part this way and when i'm done with that part i would i'll stitch the other side all the way up this way i'll just join it together this way so when i'm done stitching i'll have something that looks like this so i'll put the same thing for the other sleeve and then i'll show you guys what it looks like when i'm done so after attaching the sleeves to the top this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful it looks this is what the top looks like with the sleeve so the last and final thing to do now is to cut out the straps we'll be attaching to the waistline for the wrap effect so i'm, so I'm going to cut out two pieces of um, fabric which is about 38 inches long that is my round waist measurement I'll, I'll also measure the width of what i have here i used to cut on the fabric so when i'm done cutting the fabric and turning over i'll show you guys how to attach it so after folding and turning over the straps this is what it looks like like i said earlier i have two pieces of it which is 38 inches long so the first thing to do is to just match the um open eye edge of the strap to the edge of my top this way i'm going to place them this way so remember that i took the width of this part before i cut out my fabric so that was what guided me on the width of fabric to cut out and then i'll place them this way right tight facing each other and then take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down using one inch so make sure you stitch it down very well so that by the time you tie your top around your waist it won't um losing so on the other side i'm going to just place it the same way the open edge of my strap i'll match it to the to the edge of my fabric and stitch it all the way down so when i join it together it's going to be looking like this on the right side so guys this is where we'll be ending this video for today i'm going to show you guys the finished product of the top when i wear it so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment if you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.